When Sibylle's fountain was constructed in the center of Madrid in 1782, nobody knew that a couple of centuries later it would become the meeting point for Real Madrid fans after every trophy win. When Real Madrid secure a major title, fans gather at the fountain to see players wrap a club scarf or flag around the neck of the goddess Sibylle's Cybele, in English. Due to the unique circumstances of the coronavirus crisis, such a gathering wasn't possible when Real Madrid secured their 34th La Liga Santander title in the 2019-2020 season. The club announced that the players wouldn't be visiting and local authorities urged fans to stay away both the fountain and the square, La Plaza de Sibeles, which surrounds it in the event of victory. But all Los Blancos' other titles since the mid-1980s have been toasted with a party in front of the Greek goddess. Before then, small groups of both Atletico de Madrid and Real Madrid fans had visited the Plaza de Sibeles on occasion to celebrate major successes, in all likeliness due simply to its central location. In fact, hard as it is to believe today, it's widely believed that the first instance of such a celebration came after Atletico won the 1961-1962 European Cup Winners' Cup final against Fiorentina, before fans of both capital city clubs and of the Spanish national team gathered at the fountain for other important victories over the following years. However, it was during the 1980s, and the era of dominance for Real Madrid's so-called Quinta del Butra team, that celebrating at Sibeli cemented itself as a distinctly Real Madrid tradition. They certainly celebrated there a lot, winning five La Liga Santander titles in a row between 1985 and 1990. Atleti's trophy drought in the 1980s and Real Madrid's trophy addiction made the goddess a Madridista for life. By the time Atleti started winning again with a pair of Copa del Rey triumphs in 1991 and 1992, their fans had decided to move their celebrations 500 meters down the Paseo del Prado to Neptuno, Neptune's fountain. They left Sibeles exclusively to Los Blancos. When Real Madrid do celebrate there, it's the captains who have the honor of dressing Sibeles up in club colors after a big win. The last captain who could experience that, Sergio Ramos, had done this several times, having won a horde of trophies from taking on the captain's armband in 2015 until leaving the club in 2021. It's a true platonic love, Ramos said of his relationship with the statue of the goddess in an episode of Movie Stars Inform Robinson series. Spending a moment with Sibylles is like when you see your mother again after going two or three months without seeing her. Whenever I drive by the fountain, I sit gazing at the statue for as long as the traffic lights stay red. Now it was turn for the captain Marcelo, and the 35th La Liga title. For TJ Sports USA, Lydia Brown.